internet so if you haven't checked out my last video which was a home decor haul welcome to my new place if you'd like to check out that video I'll link it in the bottom bar below because it is after all the first video that I filmed in my new apartment so we are currently on my patio which is hopefully gonna be a good setting for outfit of the day for every day of work videos for as long as the good weather holds out just like it's such a great space for you to be able to see as much as possible of my outfit so as well as introducing you to my new home I would also like to introduce you to my new handbag which is a Celine mini and if you'd like to see a full video on that bag let me know in the comments below because this is my beloved baby for fall I'm so in love with this bag and I will definitely be using it all week this week so you can see it paired with different outfits so just in short it is the mini size in the color Suri which is a gray taupe so it pairs beautifully with anything from the fall season in terms of pieces of clothing so let me show you today's outfit for Monday I decided to dress up a little bit more today just because so I'm wearing one of my favorite blouses which is from Miss Sony so this is a simple button-down but it's such a great shirt because it has so many different tones in it to play with um, and to me these are really the colors of fall which are emerald green pink blush is always fun to play with black peach and then purple running through it as well um, so I paired this with a vintage skirt that was actually my mother's and it is really fun for this season it's a true nod to the 50s and it's so comfortable to wear as well just cinches you right in at the waist which is really flattering it looks good with pretty much any top that you would pair it with but I especially like it with a simple blouse um, so that's past the knee which encourages me to wear a high heel and pull those out of my wardrobe because I feel like they do not get enough love so this pair is really great in terms of comfort and stability these are from nine west and you can see they're quite fun as well and they remember the graphic print from the shirt with the cutouts on the side so they're suede and they have plum and eggplant <laughs> out all of my knitwear but it's still actually 20 degrees in Vancouver and nice so what I chose was a cotton knit piece which is this dress from BB it is years and years old I've had this since I was I think 18 or 19 it's got this cowl neck which I really like I think that's a really feminine neckline always really flattering and I've paired that with a jacket which is from Whole Brain Through which is a very popular department store for luxury items here in Canada um, I'm actually not sure if they still produce women's soap, suit wear anymore. I know they still do knitwear, um, but this jacket has lasted me a long time and I really like the white piping because I feel like it pairs really beautifully with anything white to cream. Um, surprisingly, despite the normal Labor Day rule, the whole cream thing has gone into fall. You can see it in a lot of different magazines. I've seen it in Vogue. It seems very popular still. I never really believed in that rule anyway, but a good way to pull that into fall for yourself is to pick something with a little bit more texture, like this dress, for example. And it's got this calloped hem, which despite being old, of course, is actually very on trend. Any kind of detailed um, hemming right now is really huge. Um, which I think is a really cute feminine trend to go for. So I paired this with my Celine Mini again, and I'm pretty excited about these shoes because these are from Todd's and I've had them for a couple months. I didn't purposely buy the shoes and bag to go together, and you'll see that they're a few tones off from each other, but I actually think that's quite nice. It prevents them from being too matchy-matchy, so the shoes are a little bit more plum-toned um, of a taupe than the bag, but I think they look quite lovely together, and I think it's a nice way to break up an overly black and white outfit and make it a little bit softer and a little bit more richly toned for fall. So today 
I have one of those dilemmas that I feel like everyone faces once in a while. I go to my business casual office and I don't want to look like a disco ball to go out later on in the evening to a fancy birthday party. So this is today's solution to that timeless problem. I'm wearing quite a shimmery dress, but because it's black it's easier to get away with in an office, paired with quite a casual kind of simple cardigan and simple accessories that will kind of pop for evenings. So let me kind of elaborate on that by telling you about each of these pieces. Um, for the cardigan, this one is actually a cotton blend, so it's kind of nice for daytime and for kind of pulling an outfit into being daytime appropriate. It's from the J. Crew outlet and it is a cool toned leopard print. I feel vindicated by the fact that leopard is huge for the season. Be mindful of what you prefer in terms of cool or warm tones when it comes to exotic skins because I can look good with different skin tones and different accessories as well. The dress is from Anthropology, so it's got short sleeves. It's just a very simple party dress, but I love the way it fits me because um, it's quite tailored and it's just got this silver thread running through it, which I think is very pretty and for nighttime it really catches the light um, without being inappropriate for daytime, especially with um, being a bit more covered up with the cardigan. I think it transitions really well, especially when paired with simple accessories like this pearl necklace that I beaded. So of course, and I still have my Celine Mini, um, which seems to go well with everything, so I'm congratulating myself on my choice. And then I have a pair of simple pumps that have a secret detail from Kate Spade, and so these are actually um, a stingray effect with glitter in it. Um, so Kate Spade does a lot of these clever twists, and this looks quite matte in daylight, but um, when exposed to artificial light, it really shines in tones of kind of blue and purple and they look like pretty fun party shoes. They're also quite surprisingly comfortable, so they're quite a good pair of heels to take from day until night and it doesn't hurt that I found them at the Saks Off Fifth outlet and hence at a significant discount. <laughs> Um, is to always have a good blazer in the office that I can reach for if something does come up. So the one I have sitting there right now is from Helmet Lang. You guys have seen it before. Um, so I didn't feel like I needed to put together something overly formal. So I just reached for a new piece. It's always fun when you get something new to get to wear it um, pretty soon. I picked this up at the Diane von Furstenberg section at the Bay in their Labor Day sale. And I got a pretty good deal on, on it. And I just am absolutely loving it because I love anything with animals printed on it and this has lions and giraffes which I think is kind of awesome it's kind of a safari it's a nice version of a safari top with the rolled up sleeves and it's silk it's got this kind of mandarin collar that's kind of nice because it's fun and interesting but still very conservative um, so it's kind of a looser top it's a little bit of a tunic it definitely covers your bum so if you want to wear some tighter pants this is a good top to do that with because it's always more flattering if you pair a loose top with tighter pants just in terms of proportions especially if you're more on the petite side like I am. So for pants, these are my favorite ones. I feel quite repetitive telling you about them, but I feel like I should because they're so great. These are from Paige and these are an Italian jersey fabric, which is quite thick and stretchy and comfortable. And with this outfit, I wore my cheapy shoes that I've talked to you guys about before. So these are from the Expressions line, which is owned by The Bay. And they are total fake Chanel ripoffs. They've got that little gold stud at the back, just like Chanel shoes do. And by some miracle, despite being pleather, not leather, they are still extremely comfortable and fit my feet um, perfectly. They've never given me any blisters at all and they're very easy to walk in. Also pretty durable by now since I've had them since the beginning of summer. If you are interested in these fake Chanel expression shoes, um, I know I've gotten quite a few questions about them on Instagram. The Bay actually does still have them. I don't think they're on sale yet because it's a new version. So instead of being slingbacks, they're the closed toe ones, but they still have the Chanel um, black and cream color blocking going going on with the gold detailing just like these ones do. So I think they're a really neat little bargain. So cute. 
TGIF. Here is my Friday outfit. Fall 2014 has quite a few prints in it, but they're very lush prints that you can definitely carry over from summer. So this is a jacket that I usually wear during the springtime, and it's interesting because I didn't think I would wear it that much when I purchased it. It's from um, Ever New, which is an Australian version of Forever 21, but I think it looks really nice, like it's made from silk scarves basically, and it's got really easy to wear colors, so navy and cobalt and sky blue, and a little bit of white as well, so it pairs really well with a white v-neck. So with this Ever New jacket, I paired it with a Michael Starrs t-shirt, and then I've got my page jeggings on so these are super comfy the jeans equivalent of pajama bottoms they have I will warn you gotten quite a bit looser as I've been wearing them over the past year since I bought them so if I were to do it again I would get a size down just a word of warning but I still love them anyway and with that of course I'm carrying my new Celine mini and then, and then for shoes I'm wearing my Todd's wedges and that is it for my little Friday outfit thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe if you'd like to catch more of these five days of work outfits videos because I love putting them out for you and they're just a lot of fun to do to just share my week of fashion with you guys so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye